Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, I'm at my parents again still and uh, I'm going to be here for a little while, uh, probably at least a month and a half and I usually don't come to visit until it's like July or August so most of the season is already gone. However this time I came for the month of June and part of July. So I decided that I'm going to actually take advantage of the opportunity of sitting still. Those of you who know me and know that I am not in any one given place for probably more than two weeks. So uh, I am taking advantage of the opportunity that I am sitting still and I am going to uh, plant myself some pots uh, for outside of my trailer that I showed you in my last video. Um, I'm going to do my pots. Uh, what I like to do when I have pots is uh, I like to put a vegetable of some sort in there and then for decorative reasons I usually fill the rest of it in with uh, some kind of flowers type thing so that you've got your, uh, in my case I'm doing a cucumber and a tomato and there's also parsley and basil that I'm putting in my pots. I like my pots to be edible. So, um, and then around them, I'm going to stick some plants. So, um, I have done, I think, one or two videos just talking to you guys about gardening. I do have a degree in plant biology as well as a master gardener uh, certification. So, um, gardening is something that I absolutely love and that I have always been very active in, in uh, what before I uh, went nomadic. I own my own home. I re-landscaped the entire yard, uh, put in raised garden beds, uh, new turf, uh, perennial flower beds, um, things like that. So, and then I've also done that on a lot of my visits when I come down here, I do help my mom a lot in her gardens and then I also do help my little sister. So um, that's just uh, something that I'm passionate about is gardening. So I'm uh, loving the opportunity that I have right now to do a bit of gardening while I am sitting still for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, the first thing I'm going to do actually, because these are, well, I've got three pots here. So I've got a uh, couple smaller ones that I've got and then I've got a, a larger one here. Um, all of them are used pots from my mom's garden shed. <clears throat> that uh, had plants in them before so you can see they are quite dirty inside uh, I don't know that they have been disinfected and the plants that were in there they could have had uh, some kind of fungus or they could have had uh, some kind of insect so there is the possibility that this leftover dirt and stuff in here could infect uh, the plants that I am putting in here this year so what I'm using is a spray nine. This is uh, one of my go-to um, products that I use when I am disinfecting my plant pots. Uh, you can do like a bleach water solution, the same thing. You're gonna spray it down, I'll spray them all down really good, let them sit for a little bit, and then go ahead, rinse them off. You don't need to scrub them clean because whatever's left in there is gonna be disinfected anyway. So um, you don't really need to worry about scrubbing them clean unless you're worried, you know, like maybe the outside, you know, if you wanna clean it up, uh, that's of course up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will go ahead and plant the flowers and we'll talk a little bit more when I get to that point. Okay, so I've got the pots all sprayed down there and I'm just letting that sit and do its job there and then I'll just take them outside and so with the hose done and I'll be ready to plant um, over on my other side there I do my mom has a stainless steel sink and that's where I can I have the dirt and I can do all of the planting I'm going to show you a bit about what I have here that I'm going to be putting in so uh, the first one that I have is the a spicy globe it's a Greek basil um, I love basil I'll probably end up clipping off all of these flowers that are on here because that, if you cut down all the flowers, it'll create the plant to grow more of a bushy um, and, and you'll get more of the leaves for herbs. Then I do have uh, some, you can get them out of here, 
these are all quite big because it is later in the season that I bought stuff. So everything is, is a lot bigger than you usually. Usually you get like smaller plants at the greenhouses or you know, some people like to call the plant shelter. I have some parsley here, which is one of my favorite herbs. Basil and parsley are two of my favorite herbs. Uh, I'll put them on salads. I'll put them in dishes, everything. I love them. Um, so I, those were my two favorite herbs. So I did get uh, one of each of those to go in the pots. And then I have, and this is like insane. Tomatoes are never like when you buy bedding plants and you buy tomatoes, they don't look like this. Like usually <laughs> the tomato plant is like maybe like this tall. Um, these are obviously like very mature and they are going to be extremely root bound in the bottom of uh, this, this uh, pot here. Uh, these ones here are called the ox heart tomato and I do like to get tomatoes that have variegated colors uh, by that I mean they will uh, not just be red they'll be red and yellow or red and purple or yellow and purple I, I have a thing for like variegated plants um, I also got a pack of seeds of rainbow carrots I'm all about color, uh, as you probably know, because you see my hair change color so much, I am all about the funky colors. So I love to buy plants that have funky colors. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do with these tomatoes. Um, so <clears throat> if you look, I'll kind of bring this close to the camera here. And on the bottom here, you can see all these little bumps that are along here the, and, and like little hairs. Those are called trichomes and now uh, those will, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put probably about, if I can angle this right here, I'm probably going to put about that much of the stem under the soil. Um, and what's going to happen is those trichomes, the plant is naturally going to uh, start sending out a hormone that is going to cause that part of the stem to grow roots. Um, and that it doesn't happen with all plants, but with tomatoes, that is one thing for you to know that if you have tomatoes that are really like long and lanky like this, you can do that. You can plant a part of the stalk under the dirt and it will not rot. It'll grow roots and it'll become part of the root system of the plant instead of the uh, stem system of the plant. So that's uh, something for you to know. Um, I'm going to take off a lot of these leaves that are kind of half dead on here um, and just trim these up so that they are a little bit better to grow in a pot. I'm only using two of these so the other two of them are going to go in my mom's garden actually. So those are the, oh and then I also have um, a little cucumber plant. Uh, this is a burpless cucumber so it's kind of like an English, typical English cucumber that you get at the grocery store. So. This is going to be going in one of the pots. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep like trailing it up by the door of my trailer. So the cucumbers will be like fresh picking right by my door. If I want to eat a cucumber or make a salad, I have cucumber, I have tomato, I have basil, and I have parsley. And I can make my, whip myself up a salad anytime that I like. <clears throat> so those are what I have for um, the edible components of my pots. Uh, now I also have, I've never bought one of these before. It is called an Amicia. And uh, I've never actually got one of these before. But it sort of looks like, I'll see if I can, if I can bring it up close to the camera here. But uh, they, they look like little mini snapdragons. And I have always loved snapdragons and of course yes i do also have actual snapdragons to put in the pots as well um, but this will be one of my ones that will drape over the front of the pot i also have um this guy is called rainbow pink and uh he, it, this one will also drape over the front um this i just i thought that these kind of looked Pretty together I don't know it was just sort of I was just kind of going with like some colors that I thought would look nice together I didn't have a ton of selection right now simply because 
most people already have their gardens planted right now in Saskatchewan. Uh, the season's very short in Saskatchewan, so you really want to have your gardens in the ground already when June 1st hits, if you can, um, because you only have really July and August for your gardens to grow. So it is a very short season for all of your seeds and your plants to actually get to a mature state. And then I also got um, some violas. They are also one of my favorites. My middle name's Violet, so uh, no surprise that I love violas. Um, I don't 100% know if I'm going to have room for these in the pot, but I can always plant myself a fourth pot for these guys if I so choose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go rinse out these pots and then I will start planting. Um, I will show you the finished pots when I am all done. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I'm more than happy to answer as best I can. I know I do, I don't know everything about gardening, but I do know a fair bit. So if there's ever questions that are weighing on your mind, uh, feel free to ask. And if I don't know the answer, I will try to find the answer for you. Um, and, uh, when it comes to anything that's like shrubs or pruning or things like that, that's not really my expertise. Um, I didn't really do a lot of studying of that. More of what I studied was like house plants, gardening, seeds, uh, the hormone development in plants, things like that. So, um, pruning is not really my specialty. However, I do know a bit about it. So I can try to help out in that area as well. If there are questions that you have. Or I may know a really good YouTube resource uh, for things like that because I do follow a lot of <laughs> gardening people on YouTube. So um, I do know a lot of options there for you. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and plant these and I will show you my finished product shortly. Okay, so one thing that I am going to tell you guys about uh, this one here. So um, this one, I want it to basically drape over the front of my pot like that. Now, if I plant it into the pot like this, it's not going to do that. It's going to just keep growing upright. Now, a lot of people might think if you can't plant a plant like that. Like, it won't grow, right? It will. It will grow. So don't be afraid <clears throat> to angle. Like, if you want it angled this way, I'm going to actually put it completely like that so that these fall down over the pot. The roots will start to grow downwards on them on their own. You don't, you don't have to tell them what to do. They figure it out all on their own. Um, one other thing that I'm going to show you here, so you can see... These were very root bound and, and all that means is that they were in those pots a lot longer than they probably should have been uh, simply because they didn't sell in time. So um, what I do when I get plants that are very root bound like this, don't put it in the ground just like this. The problem with that is if you put it in just like that, the roots are still going to stay all in this square and it'll probably either not grow very well or it might end up dying on you. So what I do, I stick my thumb in the middle or my finger in the middle and I just pull each corner outward a little bit. Most of your roots are going to be on the outside and you're going to hear tearing. Yes, don't be afraid. That's okay. And I just open up that bottom and I spread those roots outward. Now what that's going to do is that's going to signal the plants to spread the roots out this way. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to take because I want to put... This, this way, the side with the most roots is the side that I'm going to put downwards, okay? So I've got all my other plants here in the back that you can see. Uh, this one's the basil. I've got a snapdragon and a tomato. I'm going to stick this down here like that and just position it how I like it, okay? And... and you want to be gentle, but you want to be rough. <laughs> I know that sounds like it doesn't make a lot of sense, but don't be afraid to, to really kind of move things to where you want them. Uh, they're pretty, pretty tough. Plants are pretty tough. They can, they can handle a fair bit of abuse. And uh, actually, 
the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> if you're if you're super delicate with your baby plants and you're just always so careful with them, you don't want them to get too much water, too much light, this, that, they tend to get babied and they become kind of like a weak plant. Um, so one thing that I used to do when I used to make my own bedding plants is I used to, um, when I harded them off, I used to just completely stop watering them until they were dry, droopy, and, and just looked like they were almost dead. Um, that's how I used to harden them off. Then I'd water them, they'd all perk back up twice as strong as they were before they went through that drought period. And then I would throw them into the ground and they would go through another shock when they were in the ground. They'd get all wilty, they'd look like they were gonna die. And then all that, you know, I'd water them and they'd bounce right back. And I always had the strongest plants by giving them some shocks like that, to give them some, you know, taste of reality. We all know that life is not a cup of tea all the time, right? So same goes for plants. They're going to go through Mother Nature. Mother Nature's got wind, hail, rain, storms, frost. They need to be prepared to handle Mother Nature. So uh, don't be too gentle with your plants. It's okay. I mean, don't be rough with them and break all the branches and stuff off. But uh, it's okay to, uh, you know, manipulate them a little bit and uh, make them look just the way you want in your pots so that your pots are absolutely stunning. I'm going to go back to planting the rest of those pots and then I will show you all the finished products after. Okay, so there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed that short little video of mine. Um, these are my three pots here behind me that I have made. I give you a little bit of a close-up view of them. And uh, I think in total, that whole thing took me maybe half an hour. So if it's, you know, something that you think is, like, out of your reach or you don't have time to do or it's too difficult, I just showed you how easy it is uh, to beautify a little space outside your front door. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll keep making the videos as I carry on down the road. I will be uh, heading out to uh, Borden, Saskatchewan later uh, in, uh, in the month here. I'm going to be going to a van life meet up there. So I will do a video when I get there, show you guys some schoolies that are going to be featured at that meetup. Talk to you all soon. Bye.